Welcome to PC Analytics. Today, we're gonna to cover a single cooler from Arctic, the Arctic Freezer 36. We'll first start with the looks and then move over to the performance of the cooler. Arctic provided me with early access to review this product and announced a limited time special for their 23rd birthday that's noted in the description. This cooler also surprised me with an innovative feature. The Arctic Freezer 36 offers a clean all black look with a polished top. It uses two P12 fans and should have no issues with RAM clearance in most setups. Instead of using brackets or screws, it uses a feature that snaps the fan into place. This makes connecting the fans to the cooler a breeze. In regards to other installation features, this cooler features similar installation design as most mainstream coolers. Given the new fan feature, this is the first cooler to receive a 10 out of 10 installation ease on my website. In regards to how this cooler sounds, here's a 10 second audio clip of the fan at 100% fan speed. Now, we know you're here to see how this cooler performs, so let's dive into it. We will first compare this cooler to the average coolers. Then, we will show you the results based on coolers of a similar weight class. For each compare, we will show you the coolers over idle, high, and overclock temperatures and show you two sets of charts. One that looks at performance normalized by percent speeds and one that looks at performance normalized by sound. In a first set of charts normalized by percent speeds against the average of all coolers, we have temperatures on the left represented by the saw line, noise on the right represented by the dash line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Arctic Freezer 36 and red does materially better than the average cooler in blue. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the cooler's advantage widens. Additionally, we can see that the Freezer 36 is materially quieter across the board and not being audible until around 80% fan speed. When we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that this cooler can handle the loads of the higher RPMs while the average cooler cannot. In our second set of charts normalized by sound against the average cooler, we have temperatures on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, we can see that the Freezer 36 provides more cooling for a given noise level. And when we push the CPU to 105 watts, we can see that this difference grows. And when we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that this trend continues. Next up, we will compare the Arctic Freezer 36 to a few other coolers in its weight class, including the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo, the Noctua U12A, and the Deepcool AK500. At idle, all these coolers have a similar temperature profile. As we increase the watts to 105, we can see that the Freezer 36 is on the higher end of the coolers reviewed. However, the Arctic Freezer 36 has the lowest noise profile across the board. And when we pump up the heat to 130 watts, we can see that this trend continues. Next up is our charts normalized by sound. At idle, they all have a similar noise profile. And as we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see only minor temperature differences for a given noise level. And when we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that the Arctic Freezer 36 is only a few degrees higher for a given noise level above 34 decimals relative to the Noctua U12A and the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo. Thanks for watching. If you found value in this content, I invite you to support us by giving us a thumbs up or hitting that subscribe button. Your support is appreciated.